In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can earn money living in Southeast Asia. We will be exploring some online as well as some traditional methods that expats can use in order to earn money. So if you are wondering how to earn money in Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Philippines or any other Southeast Asian country, then this video is for you. As you can imagine, to work legally in any Southeast Asian country as a foreigner, you will need to ensure that you have the correct visa. Still from speaking to expats here are the most common ways on how to earn money when living in Southeast Asia. Becoming an online English teacher. Due to the recent pandemic staying at home for educational lessons is the norm and thus there is still a significant demand for online English teachers around the world. There are many different companies that are currently looking for online English teachers. These include companies such as iTutor and Cambly. I've added the links in the description below for those of you who are looking for more information. The next option is to start affiliate marketing with Involve Asia. Affiliate marketing is well known but what exactly is Involve Asia? Involve Asia is the biggest affiliation program in Asia. Think of Amazon affiliates or Clickbank but the Asian equivalent. Therefore if you have a channel or an audience from an Asian country you could earn by recommending products and getting clicks. However Involve Asia not only targets at the Asian market but they also have some engaging international campaigns. Some foreigners who are living in Southeast Asia and in particular the digital nomad community earn money from affiliate marketing and this can be promoted on YouTube, other social media channels, on a podcast and even on a blogging website. The next option is to open up an Amazon or an SD store. Some expats have found success by purchasing local items in Asia and selling them online. This is because often products across Southeast Asia can be purchased for a fraction of the price as they are sold back home. The benefit of this is that it may be possible for you to set up a business in your chosen country, which will help you gain the relevant visa type needed to work in that country. This is followed by another method and that is through blogging. One big piece of advice for bloggers looking to earn money online while living in Asia is to build a system that takes a simple blog into a business because there is a difference between a blog that earns a little bit of money from ads and a blogging business. So now let's take a look at some more traditional options. First we have working with the local embassy. One of the benefits of working with local embassies is that often the available roles carry with with them a very high salary. Nonetheless there may be specific requirements that will need to be met but this really depends on the position that is open. This is then followed by becoming a teacher in a local school and if you are searching for opportunities outside of the city you may find opportunities with minimal requirements although the salary may be lower. Nonetheless, this is often an excellent opportunity for many expats who are living in Asia. The last option is to start your own business. Some countries in Southeast Asia are much easier to start a business in than others. But the great thing about going down this route is that you do get a business visa and you can legally work in your chosen country. 